Guys, today we've got for the review one of the smallest track TV in the world. It's called Weber Huge. And now we'll find out what it's about. Let's go. Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voice over and you're watching review machines. It's winter season now, but unfortunately we still don't have any snow as you can see. But without being said, let's review this unique machine, which is called Weber Huge. For the first sight, this vehicle might seem just a toy. But wait a little before making any judgments, the thing may surprise you. Now we are going to look at it in detail and learn how it's built. And then we will test it thoroughly. And first of all, we'll speak about the construction. Let's go! Well, it's really tiny track ATV. Actually, it's a homemade vehicle, but it can be made for other also. It's quite a stout and durable thing. It's entirely made of steel, consequently it's rather weighty, about 90 kilos. You can both sit and stand when riding it. There is a seat covered with waterproof material. The footsteps are white, with anti-skid elements on it. There are two tracks, 20 cm width each. The length is about a meter, and the width is 90 cm. Well, guys, the thing is probably one of the smallest tracked ATV in the world, and I am very curious to find out if there are smaller machines. If you know them, please let me know in the comments. There is a steering system and handlebar. By the way, now it's fixed, but then it will be made foldable. At the left, there is a brakes handle. At the right, we see the throttle. Now let's see what we have under the hood. By the way, it's fixed when it's open, a tiny but a pleasant detail. The vehicle is equipped with 7 HP engine, it works together with CVT transmission. The drive goes by two belts, one belt for each track. The steering is made in the following way. When you turn, the tension one of the belt lessens, the axle slows down by the brakes, and the vehicle turns. As we can see, the whole construction is the simplest, but quite reliable, and I think it's one of the good features of this ATV. And now it's high time to see what this machine can do in practice. Let's go! <laughs> to my surprise, it goes! and goes even better than I thought. After some time of riding it, there is every reason to say that this ATV is definitely worth existing. My weight is 86 kilos, but it moves swiftly, without any difficulties. Especially I liked how the steering works, you might turn smoothly, without jerks. That is a seldom feature for the most tracked ATVs, and if necessary, you might turn around literally on the spot. Then I was surprised that there is a suspension system. We missed it when was speaking about the construction. So let's see how it works now. To get the access to the suspension system, we should turn the vehicle upside down. And it's a tough task due to the low gravity center. That is definitely good. Besides, we see that the bottom is absolutely flat. That is also good for frauding. And this is a suspension. All the rollers have spring shocks. As a result, the whole track has suspension. And it moves quite smoothly on rough ground. Let's see how it works crossing some obstacles. Now we are moving on asphalt and it's a good opportunity to check the maximum speed. As we can see, it's able to accelerate up to 32 km per hour. 
By the way, as a matter of fact, this vehicle is designed only for one person. But if necessary, it can carry two people on board, without any problems. Even the maximum speed is not significantly less, it's about 29 km per hour. To test this machine in a proper way, we let more experienced riders show us what it can do actually. Such a forest roads are probably the ideal conditions for the vehicle. It's real pleasure to sweep through this wood. But frankly speaking, we can hardly call this thing a real ATV. Most likely, it's some kind of off-roading scooter or something like that. The obvious advantages of the machine are the effective steering and decent suspension. On the other hand, there is also an obvious drawback. To my mind, it's hard to find any practical use of this machine. Only one seat and no any trunks. But probably it was made only for fun. Undoubtedly, it can provide you a lot of fun. But what if we find some trailer suitable for the machine? We don't have it now, but if we had it, this machine would become quite a useful transport. It's compact and maneuverable, it's little fuel, so if there was a trailer, it would be suitable for hunting and fishing, for example. By the way, when there is a foldable handlebar, it may fit a trunk of a crossover, so it would be easy to transport this tiny ATV, and that would be a great advantage. And speaking about the maneuverability, if my memory serves me right, this ATV may be the most maneuverable vehicle we had ever tested. Definitely it's one of the most significant features of the machine. It's so compact, and the steering works so well, that it's even possible to move right through the woods, finding its way among the trees. The next important advantage is a simple and effective transmission. It's good because we have here a real drive of the two tracks simultaneously. It's much better than numerous big track ATVs that have a transmission where the steering works through a differential. That is why this machine is rather capable on some off-roading obstacles. Well, of course, I can't say it's a real off-roader, but sometimes this little thing surprised us. As to the drawbacks, sometimes the engine is not powerful enough especially when we were trying to cross some locks and other obstacles. It's better to speed up a little before getting over them. On the other hand, the engine is sufficient even to carry two people on rough ground. Besides, the next modifications of the ATV will be equipped with 9 HP engine, so the ATV will be even more rapid. Meantime, it's getting dark outside. We were going to test this vehicle on a real off-roading, but we got there when it was absolutely dark. You can hardly see here anything, but we have some conclusions that I would like to share with you. Well, the first one. It's rather capable on off-roading due to the two drive tracks and little weight. So, even if it gets stuck, it's easy to get it out manually. But the flip side, the body is not waterproof. And if water gets into the body and the belts get wet, the whole machine cannot move until the belts are dry. And now it's high time to speak about the prices. If somebody wants to order such a machine, it will cost about $2,000. And it's time to wrap it up now. Please, pass your comments if you like it or not, and if it's worth its money. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. Stay with us, it will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.